You can also hear your thoughts better. You can hear what's in your mind better when you close your eyes. And you can also Okay, so you need a quick, easy dinner for tonight. Or maybe you're just longing, yearning for those Pad Thai flavors from cheap Thai restaurants. Well, here's an easy recipe for a beef Pad Thai that should take maybe 30 minutes max. Alright, first let's chop the veg. The first veg is the best veg in my opinion. Scallion, aka green onion, aka the best form of onion, and the most convenient form of onion. I decided to wash these green onions because they've been in my fridge a while and had some of the bad outer layers that needed to be peeled off. As well as they had a little bit of dirt, but you can just, like I said, you can just wash them and it goes away. It's pretty, pretty quick and easy. Then cut the white and light green bits into nice sweet pieces. You want them to be kind of thick, you, they're more for eating, and then cut the tops into nice thin diagonal strips. These make really pretty garnishes and also adds a nice fresh like oniony bite to the final dish. Next, bell pepper. I like to fillet the part of the bell pepper I'm going to uh, eat off of the pepper and then cut them into strips. These work well with the noodles we're gonna make later. You can do a lot of other veggies here. I do jalapenos a lot, I just didn't have any in my fridge. Chilies, whatever you think would work. And you can do multiple veggies for different people. For example, my roommate and I didn't really want peppers, so I only cut enough for my partner. And you can customize each person's portion to whatever they actually want to eat which makes it really easy to make like really easy custom dishes for each people and then everybody gets what they want now for the protein i like to do beef I, it's my personal favorite thing to do with um pad thai but you can really do a lot of different things tofu would work great chicken shrimp is a classic option you could do a mixture of meat tea if you want um you could cut different meats for different people really it's you can do whatever you want and it's very versatile i like to use a cheap cut like top sirloin when i'm doing beef and stuff like that because it's a stir fry so the flavor of an expensive beef like a ribeye or a dry aged steak won't really come through in a cheap pad thai like this you can just really use a cheap meat and and get as much as you can out of that cut them into thin strips if you want i prefer like bigger pieces that really like get caught on the fork very easily but you do you uh thin strips would work really well and i think that is, you should make your meal high you like it now let's get s I, bet I really wrote that down huh let's do now let's get s come on come on tony you can do this you got this all right now let's get saucy <laughs> can't do it i can't do it oh my god this is what breaks me apparently <laughs> All right, now let's get saucy in here. <laughs> before that, <sighs> before that though, get a pan of water on a boil. This should be the same pan you use to cook with, just to save on dishes. You only really need, this is really just a one dish meal, just one pan. Uh, this is where you can go crazy with flavors. I've even like added orange juice before just because it worked really well with the dish and I like the flavor that it added. And um, it just kind of happened. I just thought it would be fun to add, but I'm just doing the basic sauce recipe right now. First, the most important ingredient, IMHO, fish sauce. This stuff will smell like feet, but don't worry. It turns out fine in the end, it boils out and it tastes great. Uh, it really gives it that Pad Thai flavor. Next peanut butter. I love the stuff in Pad Thai personally. It adds a lot of extra sweetness and, and flavor to the final dish, um, but you can exclude it. This is just my personal addition. Next, soy sauce, and then also do some rice vinegar. That is essential to the dish. It gives it tanginess that Pad Thai has and it really works well. Sambal Olek for some spice and brown sugar for added sweetness in the end. Whisk that all together and add whatever you want or whatever you think is necessary. Too thin, add peanut butter or sambal olek. 
too thick, add more fish sauce or more soy sauce. Adjust until it tastes just right for you, you know? And however you want to it, this is just a base. Also, get yourself a nice mug of water. This is good to have on hand at the end and I'll show you why later. Egg is my favorite part of this dish. Very simple, just crack an egg into the bowl, add salt, whisk them all together. That's it. That's egg. It's that easy. Now that your pan is boiling with water, throw in your pad thai noodles. Mix them up, let them boil for about 3 minutes. Yes, that's really all they need. Drain them into a colander and rinse them with cold water. This cools them down and keeps them from sticking to everything in the world, which makes it easier to handle by a long shot. I've skipped this step once and never again. I had to soak my colander in soap just to get all of the stuck noodle off. Now it's time for the final meal assembly. This is gonna be quick, so have everything at the ready so you can assemble it all very quickly. That's why we do the prep work first, so stir fry goes by quickly. First, oil in the pan on high heat, the highest you can get your oven. By the way, you could use a wok, but I used nonstick to show you that you don't need a wok. And also, sometimes I prefer using the nonstick. The wok can be hard to clean. Once this oil starts to smoke, salt the beef and throw it into the pan. Try to get it out onto one layer so that it all cooks on one side and gets nice and brown with that Maillard reaction. After probably about a minute, you're going to want to throw in some scallions and whatever else you want from for this portion. Give those about 30 seconds to cook and then either start tossing them together or add in a layer of egg and a thin sheet and let it set before you start chopping it up into nice big ribbons. Then start mixing it all up together with a little toss or just mixing it together if you can't toss yet, that's fine and get it nice and well cooked. You want everything to look nice and look ready to eat. Probably about another 15 seconds and then add in the noodles, mix up them, mix it up a little bit and then add the sauce. Once the sauce is in, mix it up and add a bit of water until you get the level of thickness you want with the sauce. This is why you have the water on hand. You can make the sauce different for each person and make it however they like it. Add scallions and dig into the easiest and tastiest weeknight dinner I have ever made. People, my roommates and my partner keep asking me to make this all the time so it's gonna be a hit. 